and welcome to the Garden of Melissa. Today I have a fun project planned. We are going to plant a small succulent garden. The great thing about succulents is there's lots of different varieties from different colors to sizes and shapes. The other great thing about them is they don't require much water so it's one of those things that you can plant and kind of forget about and they're still going to add interest to your garden. I have my lovely assistant Katie here today. Hi Katie. Hi mom. And she's going to help me pick out some of the succulents that we're going to plant. So, Katie, are you ready to go shopping? Yes! All right, let's go. Here we are. We've got a fabulous selection of succulents to choose from. So we're going to go ahead and pick out the ones that we think will look the best. Are you ready to get started, Katie? Yeah. All right. Do like any of these little ones over here, Katie? Or are they too little? Should we try to get some bigger ones? They're too little. All right. This one's bigger. Should we get that one? Yeah. Well, this one is going to stand up. So we've made it home with our selection of succulents and now it's time to get started planting. Alright, so this is the cart that I'm going to plant the succulents in. Now I've done a couple of things to the cart. The first thing I've done is I've added some plastic up here to the roof just because this cart, once I put it where it's going to go, it's going to be out in full sun. And the succulents don't like to necessarily be in direct sunlight all day long. So this will help give uh, them a little bit of shade during the heat of the day and it'll protect them. Now they can be out in full sun and they might start to burn a little bit around the edges or whatever, but this will just help to protect them a little bit. So I added this little plastic up here to give them a little bit of protection from the direct sun. Now down here, this is where I'm going to plant the plants. And what I'm going to use to line this is just a gunny sack here. And I'll throw the gunny sack in like that and I will wrap it around the edges and I'm just going to use twisty ties to secure it into place. Alright, so I've got the cart lined with my gunny sack and my twisty ties. I think we're just going to put a shake of dirt in the bottom. We're not going to need very much dirt because the pots that we have 
are about the same height as this cart. So we're just going to add a little bit of dirt and then it'll be time to start deciding what plants we want to put in. Katie, what plant do you want to put in first? I think we're going to cut into four. Oh, so let me show you how we're going to do that. We're going to divide this one. Take it out of the pot. succulents here that we have here the bad news is about these is that most of them will not survive the winter where I live but the good news is you can bring them inside and they will survive inside you just put them in a pot and have them in indirect sunlight the important thing is is that you when you water them you need to let them completely dry out in between waterings they don't like to be wet so when fall comes around you can pot them up and bring them inside and you can enjoy them all winter the other fun thing about these is they're very easy to start new ones so let's just say let's pick one Katie which one do we want to pick we'll say this one if you want to get it start a new plant of this you can just cut this branch off right here and stick it in the dirt and a whole new plant will grow and that's the same with most of these like even this one here if you just take one of these leaves off and put it in dirt it'll start to grow and a whole new plant will start to grow so you can have a lot of fun with these you can rearrange them and put them together in different groups put them in pots and give them away as gifts to friends or family so it's just a lot of fun have fun with it we've got all of our succulents planted in the cart so if you want to take a closer look i think it looks really fabulous we've got round ones we've got sharp pokey ones we've got blue yellow green we've got a great mixture of all different kinds of succulents here planted in the cart so i'm going to take this cart and i'm going to go put it over in its final destination give it a good drink of water and watch it grow katie did you have fun today yes i did too thanks for your help okay mom thank you for watching this video i hope you've been inspired to try and grow succulents in your garden